So what we had analyzed earlier on was a market where you've got two consumers who are bargaining with each other. And that's how trade in that market um, achieved Pareto efficiency. And we said that was along that contract, contract curve. But what happens if a market already has got established prices and these are efficient commodity prices? Remember what we said about the budget line. We said a budget line represents the price ratio of the goods. Okay? So we also represent prices in your market by using something like a budget line. But in this case, we call it a price line. But it's exactly the same thing. Okay? It's a price ratio of the two goods. Now, instead of having just one consumer, you have got two consumers. So the budget line applies to both. Remember, what we also said was that when we move away from Karen into the box of away from the zero, the origin, into the box. Karen owns more of the resources, both X and Y. And the same applies when we move away from James. That means that James owns more of the resources. And that is very similar to having a budget line that is closer to the origin, away from the origin. It just means that James has got more in the pocket. But because these are competing consumers, if James has got more money to buy the, the, the goods, then Karen has less. And what really is important in our price line is the slope of the price line. Okay, that is what really determines the relative prices of the goods. So it doesn't matter whether the price line is somewhere here, okay, just like the budget line, it still represents the same ratio, the same uh, relative prices or the price line is somewhere there, okay? All that means is, is just a, a distribution of resources or an initial allocation of resources, but the prices are still the same, right? Um, so with a price uh, or prices for the two goods, we could start off at a point like A again, okay? That is if your economy is sort of equally uh, distributed. The resources are equally distributed, it's a more equal economy. Or we could start off a point like B. So the initial distribution of resources, okay, favors who? Karen over James, right? In when we're discussing trade, it does not matter what the initial allocation or distribution of resources is. We reach Pareto efficiency through trade, whether by bargaining or by a market price, but we don't talk about distribution. This is not a model for distribution. It's a model for efficiency, Pareto efficiency. There are other types of efficiencies that you will discuss later on. In any case, let's go back to our model. Here we've got some price line, okay? Often it's indicated like this, okay? And it could be that price line. Still, if it's parallel, it means the same thing. Okay, the position of the price line only means, like I said, it's just about allocation, initial allocation of resources. So what happens if we start off at a point like A? Remember in our bargaining market, we said we could end up at a point like B or end up at a point like D. But with the price line, we could actually just trade and trade and trade and end up somewhere at a point like that. And we can call that C see what has happened. Well, see, see what has happened. Moving from point A to point B, we said that James would have been improved, would have been favored by that bargaining process. Moving from a point, uh, from a point like A to D, that would have favored current. But when we don't have prior, I mean, information asymmetries, we know exactly what the goods are worth because this price line represents competitive prices. Okay, so we don't have those transaction costs. The market is much more efficient. Look at what has happened. Moving from A to C, James has moved to a higher level of utility. Okay, C, okay, is definitely at a higher level of utility than D, right? And D is the same as A, right? And the same applies for current. When we move from a point like A to C, okay, current 
has moved from that level of utility to a higher level of utility, even though we haven't represented it. Because a point like C is bigger, okay? It's bigger than B, whilst B is the same as A. So both of our consumers have been improved. They are now at a higher level of utility. So no one gained against the other one because they are better at bargaining than the other consumer. So that is the virtue, not only of trade, but trading with uh, competitive prices in your market.